Good morning, North Central Arkansas, and we're back on schedule in the studio today. We have Mike Sisk out at Minute Mechanic, and we're talking about AC before I cut you off there. So now for part two of our show. Part two. <laughs> Let's get into the if, AC. if Dale's listening to us, he's going to be very disappointed, right? Oh, he's laughing. <laughs> he's laughing at us. What we were talking about was AC service on cars, on cars, trucks, vans, whatever. We do a bunch of them, and I was getting ready to talk about our Snap-on air conditioning equipment. It's some of the best around. Um, it has a database in it to where if your car comes in and, and, and you have blown a hose or you have lost all the refrigerant in your car and you're dry, there's sometimes you know there's stickers under the hood that will give you an idea of how much you're supposed to put in there. Sometimes if a car's got a few years on it or if it's been in an accident, that sticker will be missing. So then you're, you're wondering, well, how much do I put in here? With our database, we enter in your vehicle, and it tells us exactly how much, and then we will hit that, and then it'll put in the the correct amount. So we don't. There's no guesswork in that. It's all precise. You'll have as much as General Motors, Ford, Dodge, whoever wants it in there. Mm-hmm. Um, very very good machine. We've been using that thing now for maybe five years, four or five years, and and it has been a great asset to what we do up there. And uh, it's kind of a Johnny. It does everything. It, it it pulls a vacuum. It charges everything. So it, it's it's a good good piece of equipment, and that's what we use to s- charge up these AC systems. And it also makes it quicker. Well, I tell you what, it's uh, that equipment's so sensitive. You get low or high, and it's gonna blow just like anything. It'll blow out cool air, but you don't know how much you know freons in there, and that makes a difference on your equipment. Yes, it does. You know. Some of these small cars now, the 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 amount of refrigerant in there is on, will only be a pound or so, sixteen ounces. Wow. Wow. You know, sixteen eighteen ounces will be will will fill them up. So, let's say over a, you bought the car three years ago and you lose a couple ounces here or there, all of a sudden you're four or five ounces low on refrigerant and it doesn't blow cold anymore. It barely does blow cool, and that's not a big leak. That's not a big issue. It's only four or five ounces low. But on a system that, that that's running 16, 18 ounces of, of refrigerant, you're down 25%. Mm, makes a big And difference. it makes a world of difference. So you can put four or five ounces in there, and that thing will freeze you to death again. Right. And uh, we do that for lots of people. And, and again, you know, if, if you want the quickest service, call ahead. Give us a shout. We'll do it. Uh, you can drop by. And it may take a few minutes, but once we get hooked up to your car, it usually does not take long at all to get that going. And uh, the other thing we've been getting a a bunch of response about some questions is brake service. Mm. And uh, I don't know if it was a hard winter or what, but there's been a lot of people with braking questions. And I'll just address it by what we do when we do a brake job on a vehicle. And we we start out using the best brake pads that we can find, and that's Wagner Thermoquiets. They work well. They last a long time. They do not make noise. They don't squeal. You know, you hear how many times you hear brakes, somebody pull up beside you at a stoplight and brakes squealing. Mm-hmm. These thermoquites, I'm not going to say they eliminate that, but they do a good job of keeping that down. They'll, 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 they basically eliminate a lot of extra brake noise. Mm-hmm. And they don't turn your wheels black. How, how about all the people you see running around town with a nice chrome or aluminum wheels that are black? And that's from brake dust. I'll pay. That's, the, that's the pads as they clamp onto the rotors. That's the dust that comes off of them. They turn they turn your wheels black. Mm-hmm. And if you don't get that cleaned off there in time, they'll damage your wheels, especially on those aluminums. It will damage the finish. Well, now that'd be kind of like a calling card for you, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, when you see those black wheels, you know that there's some brake pads on there that could be changed for right. sure. There Absolutely. But we use Wagner Thermoquiets. They're excellent brake pads. Uh, we also machine the rotors if that's what what is needed. Uh, we have a uh, Amco brake lathe, so we can do it all in house. There's no uh, sending anything off to have it done. We can do everything we need to do on that in house, and uh, we do drum brakes, we do disc brakes, any of that kind of stuff you need. We can replace the brake rotors. Sometimes people will come in, and depending on the mileage of the vehicle, the the brake rotors will, will be too thin to machine. There's a number stamped on the back of them that tells you the minimum thickness, and uh, if it's if you're right at that or very close to it or whatever, sometimes we need to replace the rotors. And we we do all that kind of stuff. Uh, we do brakes on four wheel drives. 
you know, whatever a person needs, we can get it in there and get it done. Right on. Now, the uh, air condition, I know we haven't used air condition yet. I haven't in the truck a couple times I have. But, uh, that, I mean, if they take it in, even if they just want it checked out, so to say, and like you say, nine times out of ten, it's going to be a little off. Mm-hmm. But, uh, I mean, they can just come on in there and uh, you'll check it from one end to the other and yep. make sure everything's good to go on the Yes, and the and the refrigerant that we use has a dye in it. It's a leak detector dye, okay. uh, and, and when we put that in there, and it circulates throughout your AC system. If there is much of a leak at all, it will where it leaks, it leaves a little marker. And we use a black light and a set of goggles, and when you look it over, you can spot those leaks. So that's part of it is you'll get the the leak detector dye in with the refrigerant. So if you if there's much of a leak. We can find it. There you go. You know, it, 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 it helps it helps tremendously in locating issues like that. Mm-hmm. We typically on AC service you'll be gone and if it's just a simple addition of, of refrigerant, you're gonna be gone in fifteen minutes. Okay. It's not going you're not gonna be there long at all. There you go. And uh, we do especially here in the next you know, next month in May, that stuff starts hitting pretty hard because we get a, a string of days in the eighties. Mm-hmm. And uh you know, th- then we do a bunch of them. And well, what, is, what is your number so folks can call and make a reservation to in and out? Our phone number is 425-3135. And we're located across the road from the Salvation Army Thrift Store here in Mountain Home. We're across the ro- or we're on Highway 201 North. And we're open 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. Um, from noon to 1, everybody's going to lunch. But uh, from from 8 to noon and 1 to 5, we're usually pretty darn busy. Yeah, and uh, Yes, sir. And uh, give us a call on anything like that. We we, we we do a little bit of everything on cars. We don't replace engines and we don't replace transmissions and things like that. But okay. we do auto repair, maintenance, you know, the basic stuff. We do that and do a lot of it. Alignments. Oh. Man, we got some of the best alignment equipment and we got a great guy doing alignments. Uh, he is top notch, you know. Having good equipment is just half the equation. You got to have somebody that knows what they're doing and is good at it, you know, to, to finish out that equation. And Tony does that, and we do we we do a lot of front end work, and he does an excellent excellent job. Boy, that does make a difference. Uh, yes, I guess we've all taken our vehicle, get it fixed, and it just wasn't quite a hundred percent. It was a, enough to get you back out on the road, but you know. As the miles went on, you kind of see a person's work. Right. You know, as expensive as tires are these days, and man, tires are high. I don't know if you've priced any here lately. Oh, yeah. You need to get all the mileage you can out of a set of tires. Mm -hmm. And especially driving pickup trucks, most a lot of four-wheel drive trucks in this area, Mm -hmm. and they get some miles on them, and they're going to have some suspension issues like ball joints, tie rod Mm -hmm. ends, idler arms, things like that. Well, all of that contributes to shorter tire life. So you need to have those things checked and make sure we have a good alignment on there. And then you can get all the miles you can out of this $1,000 set of tires that we just had to buy. There you go. And uh, we do tons of alignments. And that's another one. An alignment, guys, you can try the drop-in, but, boy, it's hard sometimes to get in on a drop-in. Give me a shout, 425-3135, and we can schedule you in for an alignment. Uh, you know, because like this morning we've already got t- we got Tony busy. I bet we've got him booked for two thirds or three quarters of the day today, and we've not even opened the door yet. That's a good thing. <laughs> that is That's... a yes, sir. It is yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So uh, you've been on Mountain Talk for quite a while now. Yes, We're we talking have. Talking about that is business good for you? I mean, it is good, man. You know. That's one of those deals, and ever so often when I get on here, I always thank people for trusting us and bringing their vehicles to mm-hmm. us. And, uh, you know, you can have the best equipment and the best everything up there, but if people don't trust you and if word of mouth doesn't spread around that you're a good guy to do business with, mm-hmm. you can, you'll sit up there and polish on your nice equipment all That's day by right. yourself. That's right. And, uh, you know, we have been there since 1984. Okay. And uh, I've been there since 1987. I'm starting to tell my age. If, mm-hmm. it, if, if But... Uh, Anyway, it, it, it's it's a great thing. We've, we've got a lot of business. We, we get you in and out quickly. Uh, we charge reasonable rates, and p- 
people like it. You know, we we do our very dead level best to make everybody happy that comes in the door. Mm-hmm. And uh, it makes a difference. I we think. try very very hard, and I always tell people, you know, if don't don't suffer in silence. You know, you, you I had a guy tell me that a long time ago, and it stuck with me. You know, if 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 there's something you want us to do, say so. If there's something I've done, we've done at the shop that didn't quite meet your expectations, let me know, mm-hmm. and we'll take care of it. Mm-hmm. So we do our very best to make sure everybody that comes in our door is a happy customer. There you go. Yep. That number once again. 425-3135. Well, Mike, it's been a, a privilege and a pleasure. And uh, You said uh, our ratings were spiking up. That well, Dale that's that's the general rule of thumb is when <laughs> Dale is here, the ratings go through the roof. And I don't know what that's got to do with each other. But <laughs> All right. Well, Mike, it's been a pleasure. We're going to let you get back to work, and uh, we'll see y'all later, and have a good day. Thank you very much, guys. All right.